morning friends I'm so sorry I'm late we had a little bit of technical difficulties this morning my name is Miss Shannon I'm the new librarian here at Levittown and today we're gonna do some doodling uh, what's doodling it's art it's when you draw things you enjoy or you're just kind of scribbling around and you try to make whatever you'd really like everyone can doodle everyone may not feel like they can doodle but they definitely can uh, so for today, you're going to need some paper and markers or crayons or pencils or really anything you'd like to use for your drawing. And to start, I'm going to sing a little song to welcome everyone here because as a children's librarian, we get to sing a lot and that's one of my favorite parts. It goes, hi, 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 my friends, how are you today? We're going to have a lot of fun. I hope you'd like to play. So to start off our doodling, I just want to start with some basic shapes. We're just going to doodle some easy things like a round circle. And I'm just going to start all the way up here because you can doodle anywhere. That's good. That's a lovely round circle. You can draw a couple more. You can make them more like ovals. You can make them super big circles because it's okay if you draw over things. That's fine. It happens. I like some circles, or maybe we can draw some pointy triangles. And the triangle has three sides. They're one of my favorite shapes. Then we can try to do some squares like a box, or maybe some rectangles that look like long boxes, or fat boxes, whichever you'd like, really. And whenever you're starting to feel comfortable with our shapes, we're going to get ready to go on and do some doodling of some animals. But we're going to focus on making some animals with the circle. One of my favorite shapes, just because it's so round and easy. I'm going to switch my papers here real fast. I'm just going to pop this in here. Grab my next piece of paper and pin it right up to my board. nice and easy for everyone to see. Now, I'm sure if you've gone outside at all lately, you've seen some bumblebees. And we're going to draw that today using a circle. So we're just going to start super easy. Big old circle. Right there. Super easy. All you need is a circle. And then we're going to add some stripes because we know bumblebees have stripes. And I'm gonna add maybe two, maybe three on the bottom. They can be as thin as you like, or as thick as you like. I think two looks pretty good to me. And then I like to give my little bumblebees tiny caps on top because their heads can sometimes be black, but sometimes I don't want all that black. I just want a little bit. And now, just because then you can make the eyes and everything, so you can see everything better. I'm going to give the bumblebee his stinger to protect himself. And then some wings on either side. And you can make these wings however you want. I like doing the wings kind of like they're little, little uppercase Bs. But whatever works. And then you're going to add the antenna. And two little eyes and a smile. And look at that. You have your very own bumblebee. Now, if you feel like going a little crazy, you can always color in your bumblebee. And what color are bumblebees? They're yellow. So I'm just going to very gently color in in between his stripes by his stinger. And we're just going to color around his face. Now, it might have been easier if you wanted to color the yellow first and then do his face. But really, either works. That's the best part of doodling. You do it however you want to and however you're comfortable. And look at that. We have a lovely little bumblebee. He looks so nice. Alrighty. Now next, oh, I think I'll do that in black again. Next, we're going to make a frog. I think frogs are super cool. So this one, we're going to start with making part of a circle. And we're going to kind of stop before we make the top because we're going to put on his big googly eyes. So we're going to make one big eyeball and another big eyeball by just making little half circles and then we're going to connect them so they all look like they're the part of the same frog. Next, I'm going to give him some eyelids. Maybe he's a sleepy frog. Little, little eyeballs, little pupils for him. 
and frogs have big mouths so they can catch all those flies with their tongues. So I'm going to give him a big old mouth. And now, the easy part, I'm just going to make two kind of squiggly lines for his feet. And they kind of look like the number two if you think about it. But really, however you want to make his feet, I like doing the number two method because then they look kind of the same. And then we're going to give him little front legs too. And look at that. Now you have, oh, oh, I forgot something. I forgot his nose. Sorry, Mr. Frog. And now you have a little frog. And your frog can be whatever color you'd like. There are blue frogs, there are purple frogs, but I'm a big fan of just a green frog. It makes me think of all the ponds. And then you can just color that big old frog in. He can be any color. I just picked green because that's my favorite. And see, I like being able to color over everything so that it's sometimes a little easier. And if it's messy, that's okay. It's doodling. Doodling is supposed to be a little messy and that's all right. And there's our frog. Now last, but certainly not least, we are going to make a whale. Now I know whales are way bigger than bumblebees and frogs, but because you're doodling, you can make it any size you want. It could be a huge whale, or it could be an itty bitty baby whale. I think I'm going to go maybe around the itty bitty baby whale. So I'm going to make a big circle. I'm going to kind of leave the bottom third-ish open, and we're going to make his tail, which is just a straight line and we're going to bring it up another straight line up and then we're going to draw kind of like butterfly wings for his tail now sometimes doodling does not turn out always the way you want it for example am i super happy with that but that's okay because we can we can make it even more fun so after we do that we're going to give him his belly because whales have super fun little tummies so just draw a nice line all the way across the bottom for him and that's going to show us where his belly is then we're going to add my favorite part. We're going to add his eyes. And you can make his eyes as big or as small as you like. I'm going to make mine kind of big. And I'm also going to give him little eyebrows. Because when you're doodling, you can just do that. You can add whatever you'd like. And maybe just a little smile. Because I like when whales, I like my happy whale personally. Then we're going to draw two spouts of water on top of his head. Because he's spouting out water from his blowhole. And then the last part is we're just going to add some stripes, oops, doodles, on his bottom until he has a nice stripey belly. And there you go, your whale. Now, does he look like perfectly like a regular whale? No, but you're doodling. So you can make him look however you want. For example, most whales are gray or white or black. I'm going to make this whale blue. We're just going to color him in super nice. That way he blends in with the ocean while he's swimming. And it'll be, it'll be much better. There we go. I'm just gonna color him in. I do really like that. He looks very nice, but I think maybe I don't wanna do blue for his belly. I think we're gonna do, let's do purple. I don't think we've used purple yet. I'm just gonna color in between those stripes. There we go, and there we have it. A wonderful little baby whale, and he's blue and purple, and those are my favorite colors. Now, after all that doodling, sometimes your arm can hurt or your hand can hurt, especially if you're coloring really hard. So we're gonna do some hand stretches. We're just gonna stretch it out, curl fingers in and out. Then you can do some wrist stretches where you roll your wrists one way, and you roll them the other way. And lastly, I like to do some shoulder stretches just in case you've been leaning over a lot. You just kind of pull your arm across your body, stretch up and down until you're all ready to be done doodling. And look at that, we have three great little doodles, all starting with circles, super easy shape, and all of them look different and really fun. Thank you so much for joining me for the Quick Bites at Bucks County Free Libraries here in Levittown. I'll see you guys soon. And to end this, I have a goodbye song. It goes, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye friends, hope to see you soon.